There is a saying spoken among those who walk the paths between the worlds that those who have lived the life of fire and blood and wish an escape should seek the emerald flame. Be you a fugitive, adventurer, or something else entirely, you have lived the life of a dimensional wanderer, never staying in the same place or world for more than a few months. As the years passed, the next new horizon began to lose its appeal, and you started to long for a place to settle down and call home. Eventually, you turned to the old World Walkers legend, and after months of searching, you found your way to this world, and this land of vast, windswept plains and gentle, rolling hills. Here, you found the town of Fire's Rest, and its protector, a great flightless green dragon, his wing crippled in some ancient war. To outsiders, he is known as the Scarred Sentinel. To the people of Fire's Rest, he is known as Korthorak, and a friend. In the time since you have arrived in Fire's Rest, you have become trusted friends of not only the Scarred Sentinel, but also his mate, Nari Mirin, and their offspring, the adolescent Aranira and the young hatchling Corvarim. One morning, you awake to a plume of black smoke rising from one of the outlying farms and an urgent summons to meet with the dragons and the town's ruling council. Hello and welcome to yet another D&D podcast. Today we are not actually playing Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, Davison's player couldn't make it, so instead we are going to be playing Dungeon World and I'm going to be uh, guiding these three through an adventure of my own creation based uh, primarily on the Dragon in the Dungeon by Of the Wilds. Links in the description. So then, before we get there, we must introduce our heroes. So, Bobrick, why don't you tell us a bit about yourself? Right, hello. I'm Bobrick. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm an halfling. Um, <laughs> basically, one day, <laughs> basically, one day, I were in the field, and I found myself a disembodied demon hand. So, I grabbed it, and now... <laughs> It's taken up over me whole arm. And you look, and I've got this huge, dirty, great, huge, fuck-off demonic arm. Um, <laughs> 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 my hand should be. <laughs> With, like, like an, an eyeball in the palm. Um, yeah, so he tells me his name's Death Grip. And... Uh, <laughs> 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 and um yeah, oh, shit. so um he's a little bit evil you know so that's not great but um he's well behaved and uh, we've been traveling around the uh the multiverse you know doing oh small things like defeating ancient evils and uh saving civilizations um but i got a bit bored of that to be perfectly honest so now i'm here in fire's rest and um death grip's getting a little um Bored, restless. If you will. He's he's <laughs> he's he's getting a bit tired, is all. So um, I'm hoping something interesting happens soon. Otherwise, the demon might possess me and kill me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm a, I'm a short little fat halfling with a, a giant arm the same size as him that looks like it looks like Daedric armor from Skyrim. Cool. That's what it looks like. Okay, and. Uh... You are a fighter. I am. I am. And, and Death Grip is my signature weapon. Okay. So your hand is a signature weapon. Okay. We can go that. Yep. Yep. I mean, I, I was allowed to choose fists. I chose fists. <laughs> so now I got Death Grip. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. So uh, Chad W. Butterboots. Tell us about <laughs> yourself. Hi. My name is Chad W. Butterboots. <laughs> I'm from a long line of um. <laughs> I'm gonna go I can't keep this up. The butter boots are well known as guides around the, <laughs> the several realms. We are we have a um we have a family of um well loyal war pigeons that were first introduced to our family during the pigeon wars of the last era. Um, his name is. Sir Kuzalot, and he is my friend, companion. Some say lover, but those are fools. <laughs> <laughs> Some say lover. <laughs> and, um, ah, yeah, so, I've just got very smug eyes and a smile, almost like a sort of, like, morning radio host sort of look, like, hello, 
It's butter boots in the morning. Um, I've got very fancy combed back hair and a gigantic chin. Like massive <laughs> chin, huge. You could bounce marbles off it. Um, <laughs> I've got traveling, traveling clothes and a bellowing cape that no matter where I go just always seems to bellow. Even when I'm indoors. Hey, Chad okay. Butterboots, do you need a guide? I'm here for you. Amazing. Okay, so Chad, you're uh, set out as a sort of a some sort of interdimensional tour guide, I suppose. So, uh, yeah, that's me, baby. <laughs> what compelled you to? Uh, what What made you decide to abandon the life of a world wanderer and and settle down in the fire's rest? Well, I was sat with my friend Kuzlat one day, and I was saying to myself, you know what? My family's got it handled here in the normal reality. I'm gonna travel and make my way some sort of guide to the other people who want to travel between dimensions, because, you know, stuff gets crazy when you don't know what's on the other side. <laughs> That's basically it. Okay, so... <laughs> I mean, I sort of wrote the intro as that like you were sort of, like, intending to stay in Fire's Rest, but you can just be, like, passing through on your journey if you want. Well, I mean... I'm basically here for people who travel through the dimension. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe you're a guide who's based here, mm -hmm. and you you help. Yeah, them. as yeah. for my bonds, um, uh, well, well, let let a Mortis Brutus introduce himself first, and then we can do bonds. Hello, <laughs> I'm a salamander man <laughs> from far, 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 far south, and. I've got a bracelet burnt into my skin, black with odd patterns. It gives me the ability to walk cool. the flames of hell itself. I was with a family not long ago, ten years ago, my whole family was slaughtered by a load of halflings. <laughs> oh, that's awkward. <laughs> Just a random wandering group of halflings. <laughs> like, like, their ankles until they die. Get him! Get him! My uncle, my nan, my niece, my nephew, my mum, my dad, my godmother, my godfather, the blacksmith. The blacksmith? <laughs> <laughs> I'm incredibly, incredibly angry at these halflings. I would I think that killed them. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be a good game. <laughs> I mean, that yeah. sounds like a uh, good start for a bond between uh, between Mortis and uh, Bobrick. So, Mortis. Mortis. It's great that I'm right in the middle of you two, because now I can be like, Hey guys, calm down. <laughs> Just cool me, cool your hands, cool cat. Yeah, so in your bond section, you want to write down something like, yeah, Halflings you killed my family, I don't trust Bobrick, or something like that. That's a description of, uh, of, your, of your relationship at the moment. Okay. I'm a nice guy, though. I ain't, I ain't never killed no one. Well, well I killed lots of people, but... No salamanders. Not yet. Okay, so... Might as well go to you, uh, Bobrick. Do you have any ideas for uh, bonds you'd like to write with uh, some of the other characters? This can be things that have happened like before when you were travelling the multiverse, or it could be things that happened since you've arrived in Fire's Rest. Sure. Let's see. So we've got we've got ourselves some some guides and, and a salamander. I'll, I'll have something like... Uh, Salamander, what was your name? Who's like Mor Morthos? Morthos. 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 I don't. I don't think that Salamander fellow likes me very much. But I'm gonna get him to warm up to me. That's one bond. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then another bond is <laughs> that Chad fellow is a nice man. I'm gonna protect <laughs> him. I'm gonna protect him with my life. Okay. Those are my bonds. I don't know what to do for my bonds. Okay, so... This character's so stupid. I've, I have guided... You know what? I'm going to say... Hey, I've guided that uh, Bobrick guy before. No matter where I go, he always just seems to find me. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know what his deal is. Okay. And now he owes me. And <laughs> now he owes me. Uh, do you have any ideas for... Uh... 
bond with uh, Morthoth. Uh, I mean, you're you're a ranger. You're, are you sort of like the very sort of like hippie, sort of like nature loving sort of ranger, or? Hey, baby, it's cool. <laughs> it's all cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you you so you like you like you you know you spend a lot of time in the wild. You really love nature, and you're traveling with somebody who worships fire. How do you, uh, how do you feel of, about that? Nature's part of fire. Hey, you need to cool down. <laughs> oh man, I, I want to have sex with Chad. He's um, got no respect for nature, so I don't have no respect for them. Moses, you need to cool your, you need to cool your top, um, Mister. Would I have a bond with? Uh, I mean, it, it's up to you. If you can, if you can think of something that works between you and between you and Bodrick, or you could just go with just the one bond. I am fascinated with his voice. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> <Every infection. laughs> That's all. No. This is, I, yeah. I, this I'm is chair brother boots in the morning. Ability to go through dimensions, so I wanna join him. Okay. Well, yeah, you're doing something, something like that. You're uh, fascinated by the power of his uh, like demonic. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. I want to get away from the half things, like. Mm-hmm. So the fact the demonic arm is attached to the halfling, but... Oh, shit. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the three of you wake up one morning in Fire's Rest. Like, the sort of land around town, it's very, it's very flat. There are, like, you know, a, a few, ma- a few like, vague mounds. There are not really much taller than, like, you know, a house. That Like, the only thing that, qu- that count for hills around here. So you can see quite a long way. So it is uh, blatantly obvious where you see this, like, huge, like, tower of black smoke rising in the in the distance. Um, let me properly roleplay this out. What a lovely day. <laughs> Wait, what's that? <laughs> I'm assuming we're like, we all, why are we, are we all in the same room? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wake up next to Chad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, you're right. It is a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that, like, you know, you wake up at like, you know, quickly, like, runners, like, you know, village kids, like, arrive at your, arrive at like wherever it is you're staying, and say you've been summoned to speak with the uh, village council. So, like, yeah, like the three of you can like sort of like meet up like on like the main road through the town, like on your way to meet with the. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm Russian. I'm okay. hurry. I'm hurrying. <laughs> I'm dragging. I'm dragging Death Grip along with me because he's huge. Wait, uh, hold up. Wait for me. <laughs> I've still got my sleepy legs on. <laughs> Fuck! I love him. <laughs> Stay at home, kids. Looks like there's some danger. Oh, <laughs> again. Cannot be bothered. Moses, oh, oh look, it's you. You oh, just see me as oh, I run. Mr. Morfoff, come on. There's a problem. We gotta go. We gotta go. Come on, cool cats. Let's hurry to the business. But, Bodrick, as we are. Uh... As you're sort of walking along, like uh, in in the sort of distance, there is this like sort of like big like sort of barn like size structure like in the centre of the town, which is you know where you'll be meeting. You hear like a sort of a, like the uh, sound of like rapid uh, footsteps like behind you, and like you uh, turn around to see the uh, you see a, the, see a small dragon just like bounding towards you at full strength, like you know. He's still very young, hasn't quite controlled control his wings, but sort of like flopping around all over the place as he like bang, bounds towards you at like full speed. What do you do? Um, do I recognise this as one of Korvarak's children? Yes, this this is Korvarim, the uh, the his the young hatchling. Korvarim! And I put my arms out ready for a hug. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Bodrick, could you um my name's Bobrick, uh, Mr. Garrett. Uh, B- Bobrick, sorry, yeah. Could you, uh... I find that awfully offensive. Bodrick was my father. <laughs> <laughs> so could you uh, defy danger with strength for me, please? <laughs> oh, my. Oh, um, dear. I, I certainly can. Uh, Out of the way, children. It looks like he's in for a rough landing. So, once again, it's 2d6, right? So 2d6 plus your strength modifier. Plus my strength modifier, which is... It's only two. Okay, let's see. Okay, so that is a... Uh, nine. So, yeah, so uh, Corvarum, he, like, leaps at you, and, like, you manage to, like, uh, 
Whoa. He's quite heavy for, uh, you know, he's maybe the size of, uh, he's, well, I mean, you're a halfling size, so he's probably uh, about as tall as you. Oh, bloody hell. So Ooh. you uh, manage to, like, sort of stay standing when he uh, leaps at you, but, like, uh, gra he grabs, like, uh, he sort of, like, fashions his, like, jaws, like, around death grip and just sort of, like, starts sort of, like, uh, basically using your demonic arm as a chew toy. Oh, oh, steady on, steady on. He doesn't like that, Corverim. He might kill you. Whoa, whoa, that. you're messing with fire here, Kent. Put that down. Fire. Uh, okay. Uh, no, not that kind of fire, you fuckhead. No. I don't, I don't think I can play this fire. game with Chad. Can we burn a house? <laughs> Why? I just, he makes me laugh every day. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna run over and try and like uh, yield the the. It's like no, hands off! What are you doing, silly boy? Get him off him! I... Get him off! Get him off! So it comes like between like around like your arm. He's he's sort of like, right, it's mine. I claimed it. No. Oh, you oh, must you you fix something. Oh, silly. He find death grip as his own person, Corverim. <laughs> it's it's frowned upon, slavery. Now I'm gonna count to ten, and if this isn't out of your mouth by the time I get to ten, I'm gonna be very very angry. This is very confusing. One. Okay. Um, two. Three. Three and a half. Oh, okay. Um, three and three Chad, quarters. could you make me a charisma roll, please? No problem, cool cat. Is that a 2d6? Two 2d6 two, two plus your charisma modifier. No problem. Uh, you just said the words 2d6 plus 3 and you put a slash <laughs> R in front of it. <laughs> no problem. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> All right, let's try this instead. I, I put I put two d six and I put six instead of three, so take off three. <laughs> that was a mistake. Okay, <laughs> I mean that would still be a that would still be a ten. So, all right, now put put, so, put it down. Yeah, you don't so, want to make Chadwick angry. He immediately like lets go and like uh, he like looks up. He he's like so sort of, like sits back on his horn, too, like puts his like paws between his like legs, and then looks up. He gives you like. Like sort of like well like the equivalent of like puppy eyes like I'm I'm sorry Mister Mister Badger Boots. <laughs> That's all right. Just remember, you ask before you take things, oh, and right. then like and then uh, Sir Coo's a lot lets out a, a reproving. <laughs> That's all right, Mister Coo. Not today. You know I eat birds. Not even with <laughs> <that>. Daddy O. <laughs> I love that out of nowhere. You know, <laughs> in the corner, like in the shadows. I eat birds. <laughs> Uh, so Corvin really looks at you. It's like uh, that. Dad, Daddy told me that uh, that that Miss Coo's a lot is special. I'm not allowed. To, I'm not allowed to chase her. No, you're not. She's very special, aren't you? Oh, that's right. She's a war pigeon, you see. Get her on the wrong side of her, and she'll peck your eyes out. She's one of a kind, baby. <laughs> I'm just going to continue to stroke this imaginary pigeon. <laughs> oh. Goochie, goochie, oh. goo. I say, I love you. I say, Mr. Morfoth, what do you make of this? It's smoke, right? It's like, do we yeah. see the fire yet? What do you I'm... make of this smoke, Mr. Morfoth? You seem like one of those people what knows about fire. It's like your whole personality. What's yeah. with the fire? Seems... It's not. It wasn't long ago until it is lit, but it is almost out. It needs um, more flames. I put more flames on it. It sounds like you're trying to discern realities about uh, to see what you can see. What you can uh, tell about the fire from this distance. Mm-hmm. I think that's. The, I don't think that would count as a law. What of... do your What do your salamander eyes see? Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think I think you have to be closer to do Law of Flames. So uh, give me a give me a roll plus whiz plus, plus your wisdom modifier. Um, uh, a seven. Um, so if you look on the basic move sheet, you should have a you have a list of questions that you can ask you can ask me, and you can only ask one of them with a seven. 
Sorry, where am I looking now? Uh, so, uh, so and, uh, I, I, can just, I can just give you the list if you want. So, you have what happened here recently, what is about to happen, what should I be on the lookout for, what here is useful or valuable to me, who is really in control here, and what here is not what it appears to be. Is there anything unusual that, in the that sounds like what here is not what it appears to be. Mm -hmm. um, is this place usually on fire? Like, is it, is it like a casual thing? It's just like a barbecue. We've all just started freaking out. <laughs> Quickly! Oh no, I haven't forgot. I haven't brought the dogs. I mean, <laughs> you can tell this is a uh, fairly big fire from this distance, but uh, at the moment this is still like you know several hours travel away so as far as you can tell it looks like from this distance like a perfectly ordinary if large fire uh Corverim, i'd love it if you could take us uh, a little there there a little faster than on our little footsies can you uh, help us there friend please do you want to ride the hatchling i'd love to uh, i don't think that can support well, about me what about well, the arm? The arm's too big, it will... I'll just hold it up like this the whole time. <laughs> until it starts okay. to hurt. My friend, that's not how physics works. <laughs> you have a very poor understanding. <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean, Mr. Chad. Oh, you silly, silly boy. <laughs> uh, I, I love it when you call me silly, Mr. Chad. I love it. <laughs> yeah, so Corvib is like... I can I'll help, I can help I'll help you want me to help you out just like uh, like daddy helps out the villagers and he like like so sort of just like get 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 on all right then all right let's go and I, right. I, 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 hold on with death so. grip. I, I give cover him the death grip and I just hold on <laughs> okay and then he just like bounds off down the road like towards like the barn structure at, like full holy speed. shit <laughs> <laughs> fuck me <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't swear. I never swear. <laughs> Fudge me. <laughs> I never swear. I okay, pass it so... with the children. Don't swear, children. <laughs> Chad, Morpheus, are you follow? Are you following the uh, halfling on the back of the hatchling? I thought I was on yeah. the back of that. I thought I was on the I back mean, of it. You Could two aren't big. Enough, you two aren't big enough to ride him. Well, uh, both of my bits get and call me buttery boy. We have to chase after them. Come on, Morpheus. <laughs> Let's go. Um, Let's go. I'm down with my legs. Okay, my cape bellowing the entire okay. time. It's in my face as well. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's in your face. <laughs> Quickly, let's go. Let's go. I'm trying to fight it as I'm going okay. down the road. You arrive at this, like, uh, big, like, barn-like structure in the centre of town. This is, you know, it's like uh, where the dragons uh, shelter. But it's basically it's a shelter built from the dragons. Like, you uh, go inside and there are, like... Uh, like, the walls of this place are, like, aligned with shelves that are, like, uh, hold various things that are, like... Well, I suppose you could call it the Dragon's Horde, I guess. They're, like, you know, Whee. books in various languages, like, uh, in, like, uh, the human tongue and in, like, the draconic script and, like, various other knickknacks and souvenirs, like, high up on one shelf, like, uh, well out of reach of the... Uh, of curious hatchlings, you see like a, a few shards of a mottled green and black egg. I go, can I, like, can I try and go up and grab it? Wait, what are you doing? I want to grab that. I want no, the egg. Leave it, leave it well alone. Mr. Morpha, I think you'll find <laughs> that known as stealing and is frowned upon in many dimensions. Is it? Only in, not in the stealing dimension. They're quite a big <laughs> fan of it. Oh, you've heard the same, yes. It's like a regular holiday over there. It's crazy. Also, sort of, in the, there are, like, three, like, you know, sort of big mounds of, like, cushions and blankets and things. And sat and sat on them, uh, you see, like, the uh, three uh, adult... Uh, you see, like, the three adults, well, nearly adult in one of the case dragons. We have uh, Korvarak, the Scarred Sentinel, big, green, like... One of his, like, wing shoulders is sort of, like, pale, like a mass of scar tissue from his uh, okay. wound. And, like, I'm going to approach... I'm going to approach him. Well, yeah, like, uh, where is this fire now? The, we... fi the fire is, like, um... As, as you said, it's, like, several days, like... It's not, not days, sorry. Like, it's, like, several hours travel away. It's in the distance. It's not, like... Okay. In so immediate... we've gone to the dragon place. Yeah, I'm going to the I'm gonna dragon's place. I'm going to yeah. stroll up... To, I'm going to stroll up to the... Like, the boss dragon like this. Mm -hmm. Go... Hey, Daddy-O. 
We got up this morning and noticed that big pile of smoke just bellowing from a few hours away. I was wondering what the deal is. <laughs> yes, uh, also in, in, in the room is like, uh, there are a few like, there's like human officials. The one of note is uh, someone called uh, Sir Lucas. He is like a uh, balding human man dressed in like a. He's like dressed in fairly like common clothes. But you can see he's still like he's quite well built. Like underneath, like the he's like got his arms folded. You can see like muscles bulging beneath his. Uh, he's a buff boy. So, yeah, like, so Lu Lucas an answers. It's like yeah, we were uh, wondering wondering about that too. Oh, Lucas, didn't see you there, my man. How are you doing? <sighs> <laughs> You're gonna have to try to get through this, Matt. It's I love gonna it. be this for the next few hours. I just, this makes me so happy. Okay, I, so uh, you're looking particularly buff today, that. if you don't mind me saying, Sir Lucas. Uh, yeah. Wow, look at those abs. Give us a flex, man. <laughs> uh, I appreciate the compliment, uh, Chad. Uh, I've got a, got, a bad, got a bad ache in my bones this morning. Uh, something's, got, something's gonna happen uh, today, I can feel it. Well. Well, that's some great intuition you have there, my friend. Yeah. Well, I, I thought the same thing. And I woke up with a bad bone in my body, too. <laughs> I, 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 I woke up with a bad bone in my as well. But... <laughs> oh, God. I, I didn't think Case we were close enough to wood. be admitted to that. <laughs> <laughs> Case of the morning wood, I should say. But I think... <laughs> we should probably be doing something about this fire. There could be lives. There could be the forest. And the wildlife could be in danger. I just hope that there is something to kill. Uh, now you settle down, fireman. Uh, uh, it's early days fireman yet, Martha. Oh, just, I'm just saying, going on not saying. I just want the. Uh, is it okay? Uh, I'm sure it's what we were all thinking, Mr. Morpha. Honestly, I don't know why we. If you were <laughs> Last week you said fire to the playground. Oh, I was like, what are you doing? And you were like, fire. I'm just yeah, like, <laughs> uh, so, cool, 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 like, chimes in. It's like, uh, we were... This is the point I realize I only have one voice, but... Uh, <laughs> we were uh, hoping the uh, three of you could uh, investigate uh, the blaze and uh, morph a few... Uh, have uh, some control over flames. You could uh, perhaps use your ability to uh, control a fire if needed. I can. I swear yeah. to God, Morpheus, if you've had anything to do with this fire, I'm kicking your booty straight back to where I found you. You could do the more than I that. I do that. <laughs> right, I, hope, I should hope not. I, I would be honoured to do this duty for you, Mr. Korvarak, and I will go... I will go with my friend, Mr. Morfoth, and pretty Mr. Chad, and we will save the day. Thank you, sir. You can, can I put my arm now? You can count on us, Lucas A. I call him Lucas A. That's my nickname for him. And I, I pull out my sword and go, you have my sword and my bow. And, of course, Sir Kuzula, and she <laughs> places on, on top of my head and goes, oh, oh, like a war cry. But it's a good <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> Go, we're on it, don't you worry. I have got little Ooh. legs, though, so I'd appreciate, like, a horse or a pony or or your child my, my back and then i can drop you on the floor wait shit that, yeah, just, to go <laughs> that doesn't seem uh, mr morfoff that doesn't seem very productive i didn't say anything it was not me right my bad my mistake mr sir like at this point like here uh, like cover notices the like uh that you know call vim is kind of like uh, sort of snuck into the like the meeting like the serious meeting behind you and it's like cool what did i what, what did i tell you about uh, listening in on uh, other people's conversations oh but, i uh, think that that's my mistake sir don't blame him i asked him to take me here hey uh, guys i'm back What's oh hi on? mr chad how was your piss it was very very refreshing good i'm glad i'm i am glad that is good yes i'm glad too 
You made a case of the uh, Bernie oh, Dick a few weeks ago, but I think it's cleared up now. Oh, that is that is fortunate. I was going to ask you about that. Anyway, Mr. Corvrack, what were you saying? <laughs> like, very, very well, Paul. You've heard it now. And he's like, uh, and like, come over here and stay with your mother. And he goes over to uh, Na- Nari Mirin, who is uh, sat next to you. And it's like, I... Uh, I suppose I could see the benefit of a, I suppose it's a benefit to responding quickly if there are lives at stake, and like he uh, turns to his, uh, his his elder child, it's like, Ari, if you mind, and like, she like, uh, Ari! Uh, Ari <coughs> Nira is, uh, Ari Nira, would you, be, is a would you happen to be a dragon wizard by any chance, Ari? You're a wizard, Ari. Oi. Oh. Yeah. I'm... That's it, Bob Rick. No more internet for you. <laughs> I, I, That's an I have, old uh, meme, man. I, I have a problem. <laughs> so, I, I only like size. She's like, <laughs> no, I'm not a wizard. It seems, but it seems today I am your, uh, I am your transport. Let's get this over with. And she like, all right, dragon herself taxi. up from like her bed, and she like, uh, and I just, I just reach my hands up and go, eh, eh. For her to pick me right, up. Uh, please move on to the thing. There we go. She just like grabs you just in just in a paw and just like yeah. Thank you, Mr. Did Ari, she... Mrs. Ari, Dragon Lady. Yeah. Does she do the same with me? I'm assuming she does the same with everyone. Just, we start mm. stroking her with death grip. Mm-hmm. Just like, whoa, baby doll. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. Easy on his toes. So there's another one like grabs like just like grabs each and just like put like drop the sticks you on her. Oh. On onto her back. She likes it rough. <laughs> Mr. Chad, I think that's disrespectful. Disrespectful? I didn't mean to be disrespectful. I'll take it back. <laughs> that's better. <laughs> that's better. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm not to say to a lady. Yeah, even more if I've got better manners than you. She's just like... Try not, try not to throw up all over my back, and then she like takes off. Whoa! 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 Oh, whoa right. and she just leaps this is a trip, eh? <laughs> Did, didn't expect oh. my day to go this way when I woke up. <sighs> oh, if this doesn't end with me marrying Chad, oh, <laughs> <laughs> then this is a terrible adventure. Okay, so what would have taken you uh, several? Uh, hours of uh, walking on foot takes you only a, a few short minutes on uh, Dragonback. Man, this is great. Great transportation. So convenient. Mm. I must say, I love the public transport in this dimension. And you didn't even have to call an Uber. You can call... It's called a dragon. It's called the <laughs> Druber. Druber. <laughs> I've got an app for it on my phone. On my, <laughs> my, my magical... <laughs> Slate of stone. <laughs> okay, so you approach like one of like the like outlying farmsteads, sort of like away from like Fire's Rest. Still sort of like they like trade with the village, but you know they're sort of a separate like farmstead sort of thing. And you see that the uh, source of this uh, column of smoke, it, it, it's 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 the like hey, it's the hay barn at this farm. It's like it's sort of like mid to late autumn, so like. The harvest was well underway with, uh, underway at this point. Like, uh, perhaps uh, they recently held like a uh, religious uh, festival for the uh, local uh, like uh, fertility uh, harvest sort of gods, which you may or may not have attended. I stand up. I point out my uh, cape, billowing in everyone's I mean, faces, and I go. Your- Hey guys, I think that's the hay farm. I think they're having a crazy party down there. Well, I I was not invited. Why would I? Why were I not invited? I'm invited to the party. What's going on? Right? You should put it out. It's People don't thing. invite you, Morpheus, because you set fire to their houses. You're just not a good vibe to have at a party. Morpheus, if you want to attempt to uh, put out the uh, fire. Yeah. Um. There is a all a wisdom. Yeah, you're uh, trying to b- bend a flame to your will. So make a wisdom roll, please. You 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 get nothing, but you do get to mark XP. So, Morthus, you now have one XP. Yeah, every time you fail something. Every time you fail a roll, you get one point of XP. Uh, when, because you are level three, when you get ten points of XP, you can level up. 
Cool. So this is a pretty big. This is a pretty big file. This is a pretty big barn with like you know basically the harvest from like basically the whole year's harvest. So like this is like a bigger file than like you have ever tried to control before in your life. You, you, you can You do not have the willpower to control this much fire. I don't know what to do, Death Grip. Help me! And I put my hand. I do that. And I'm, so, on. I'm speaking <laughs> on death grip. So, like, okay, before you do that, like, you la you land, and it's like, and he was just like, okay, everybody off, and I get off. So I'm speaking to death grip, and I would like to, I would like to ask. ask. Okay, you're asking death grip for assistance. So... For some insight, yes, to the current situation. I have to roll plus ca. Plus, what's my charisma? Nothing. Seven. So, you will give me an impression, not good detail. Okay. So. What do you think, Death Group? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love this guy. Just waiting for the red light. <laughs> Just like. <laughs> bunk, bunk. Hello? Yeah, okay, so you, like, get, uh... <laughs> buffering, one moment, um... Hello, Death Grip! Hello! Hello! <laughs> Hello! Yeah, you get, uh, like, a brief impression of, like, it's like a sort of, like, an image from, like, uh, from, like, the ground, like, looking up towards, uh, Arnie, as she comes into land carrying you, but, like, you see, like, a dark shape, just, like, dart dart past you momentarily and then like the vision ends oh dear well, i don't know what's going on well what did you see what did all that you know see? i i he showed me a vision of uh ari landing and there were dark shape you mean like what we literally just did yeah kind of but there was a dark oh, shape in this vision it could have been anything to be perfectly all honest right. all right fair enough okay well then, I, mean, I think it's my turn. I'm gonna pull out my bow and then, like, <laughs> I, I sense danger. Um, I'm gonna, gonna and go, the right. fire. Yeah, no, I'm gonna get all right, Sir Cusalot. Now's your time to shine. I'm gonna say to my little pigeon, look around the area, and if you see anything dangerous, you come okay, straight back. It you understand? Like you are trying to discern realities. Yes, that's right. With using my special pigeon. Okay, so... you go, when you discern realities, add its cunning to your role. So you get oh. to uh, roll plus whiz with an extra plus one from the pigeon. That's an eight. I don't think she's having a good day. Okay, so the list of questions again. Do you uh, have it? I handy? just want to see if she if there's anything dangerous around. So I'm not sure I what question that, that is. Be. What should I be on the lookout for? I think that yeah, is what's yeah, dangerous around yeah. here. Now, I should uh, perhaps uh, set, the, set the scene a bit like, um, like... So you're in sort of like... You walk into like the uh, sort of the central courtyard of this farmstead. On one side is like the of the building. It's like the burning like uh, hay barn. And there's like a, a few other... Uh, like a few other various like sheds and things sort of dotted around the board of this. And, like, on, and on one side is like the, uh, like the farmhouse and like you see like something it's too far away to see like lying on the ground like in front of like the door to the farmhouse is lying open you see something lying on the ground in front of the uh in front of the farmhouse but like that's not what uh sir Kuzalot, uh draws your attention to as uh it's a she you said yes oh, baby girl lady lady who's a lot are we still calling her sir uh, uh <laughs> i love the idea that it's the end neutral Okay, well, anyway, yeah, Kuzalot, uh, she, like, sort of, like, flaps over, like, it's sort of, like, a sort of rickety old fence on one side, and she, like, coos or, like, makes some noises, like, a... Uh, Give me your best coo, Gareth. Coo, Let me hear it. Coo. <laughs> yeah. I'll see. This is, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so she, like, makes, like, an alarm, alarm noises, like, she goes, like, around the perimeter, and, like, as you look, you sort of, like, see the, like, shapes, like, uh, you know, the like, humanoid shapes, like, hidden in the, uh, Hidden like behind like some old, like a little pile of old like farm tools in one corner and like in like a like behind a gap in the fence in like another corner. All right, come back. I'm gonna call, try and call her back. Coo coo, okay. coo coo, coo. Yeah, she she, she comes back. She comes. She comes back to you. <laughs> All right, that's good. That's a good baby girl. Okay. Right. What what do you do? So there are about uh, there are about three of these uh, 
figures you can see sort of like a hidden around like this sort of central courtyard area. Okay, I'm gonna firstly I'm gonna go back to the group and go, Right, looks like there's some shady looking individuals in that barn over there. Okay. What do you think we should do? Well, I reckon we need to out ambush the ambush. So I'm going Good to idea. I'm going to cast invisibility. Boop. I can uh, open the door and ask for the deepest desires. <laughs> I suppose that's an option. They usually tell me. <laughs> they usually tell me. How about um, we try and draw them out of the barn? What and was we'll that? Ambush them there. What was that tie, sorry? Um, I can use... I can stare at them and give me fuel, fuel give me fire. Um, when you gaze instantly into someone's eyes. I mean, they're too far away for you to do that, really, at this point. No, no, I want to go. I was planning to say to go there, but I'm okay. missing. If, if people are going there, I want to. I want to go invisible. Okay, and... you make your uh, cast a spell roll. I certainly can. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I have a feeling I have. Yep, negative modifier. I cast a seven. <laughs> okay. I can draw unwelcome attention and put myself in in a spot. The spell disturbs the fabric of reality as it is cast. Take minus one ongoing to cast a spell. And, oh, after it is cast, the spell is forgotten. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take minus one ongoing to any other spells. So it's gonna okay. be a minus two to casting spells now. <laughs> okay, you. Uh, you know. Okay, you disappear. <laughs> Oh, you can't see me? Well, he's um, going to... <laughs> and, uh, oh, Morpheus, you were, uh, like, walking up, up, trying to, like, communicate with one of these people? Yes. I think that might be a grand idea. Okay. I follow, I follow at a distance. So, Invisibly. as soon as, like, you sort of, like, start walking towards, like, purposely towards one of these, uh, or slithering, I guess, towards one of these where you, where you've had one of these places pointing out to you, like... As soon as you get more than, like, a few feet ahead, then, like, you, know, you hear this, like, a, a twang and, uh, and like, a, a black fletched arrow with something, like, sticking out of your chest. The dancing Ooh. black fletched arrow sticking out of your chest. <laughs> yeah. Well, that shows me right, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And so you take four points of damage. Four points of damage. Yes. Quickly, do I know where the arrow came from? I'm gonna cock one of mine. Okay, I so fly. You hear like a course of like twangs, like a, like three arrows like shoot out of them where these fear people are hiding, and like one of them like embeds itself straight into a uh, into Morpheus's chest. So immediately um, that happens, I, I want to uh... run towards uh run toward the barn. I okay. burning brand. Okay, uh, so you are summoning a. Your weapon, so yeah. do that. Make your roll plus con. Uh, that would be oh. your con modified be a plus two, so that's a ten. So it works perfectly. So it works perfectly. You get to choose two of the following tags for your weapon. You can have it either be hand to hand, thrown near range, plus one damage, or remove the dangerous tag. What does remove the dangerous tag mean? Basically, it means it's it's not it's not dangerous to, to, for you if you use it. Because if you don't use the dangerous tag, bad things might happen to you if you mess up an attack roll. Oh, I'm gonna you. I, I choose two, right? You can choose two of those. Yes. Remove the damage tag and hand hand. All right. So yeah. So you. Uh, what what does this look like when you summon your uh, flaming weapon? So. Where the bracelet is on my right arm, flame starts peeking through the end of the bracelet, building off my hand. Eventually, my whole entire hand is covered in an uncontrollable flame. Oh, okay, okay. He's, uh, he's super edgy, don't you think, cool. Robert? So, uh, so I'm, I'm charging towards I'm invisible. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just like, feeling, feeling, feeling my neck. So trying to avoid <laughs> the arrows. Uh, and I... Going to uh, go up to is it? What can you describe uh, the barn? Is what, okay. What is it? I'll uh, let, let me uh, try to actually use the drawing tools in a uh, roll twenty. Oh, this is exciting! <laughs> you should have that playing when you do the time lapse of the drawing. Mm. <laughs> Uh, 
that, that that'll do just for an idea. So are we in like a square? As in like a town yeah, square? Yeah, you're, well you're in like, I said, you're in like the courtyard of the, uh, of this like farmstead. Like the big sort of like building over on the left is the farmhouse. Uh -huh. the, 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 yeah, the green building is the farmhouse and there is, and the red thing on the right is the barn which is on fire. Oh, okay, so I guess, I guess that means that Morthoff has ran in that direct, has gone in that direction to get shot, right? Mm -hmm. And I was, I was trailing behind invisibly. And let me just put some uh, characters on this. Uh, oh, it's so Morthoth went to the farmhouse instead of the barn. I'm going to go towards the barn. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'll, I'll I'm, I'm going to... Um, can I see these gentlemen? Can I see them firing arrows at my friend? Okay. My yeah, did, we see, friend? did we see where the arrow came there's, from? Yeah, there's like... One is like hiding, we'll say, just like in a... In like one of the like sheds up there. And we'll... Uh, Have I got a clear shot at him? We'll put like another one is like... In the like, like through a gap in the fence over here. So, yeah, actually, we'll, we'll move them around a bit. Like a pile of farm tools in front of that one. There's one hidden in the building, and there's one behind the fence over there. And it's like this uh, guy here. Chad, when like uh, all, all three of them fired, when like uh, when Morthos sort of like uh, ran in, he's sort of like running towards I presume this guy who's like uh, in front of the barn at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so he's got okay. So he, so Morthos got him covered. I'm gonna get an arrow ready, and I'm, but I'm gonna say to my little pigeon friend. Baby girl, go for the throat, and I'm gonna tell her to go for the one in the middle, to, like okay. fly straight at them. So that sounds like that's going to be a volley. Mhm. Mm so that's a plus dex. Yeah, yes. more plus dex. No problem. Uh, that's an eight. eight. So you have a choice. You have to move to, 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 to get the shot, placing you in a danger of, of the GM's choice. You have to take what you can get, do you deal minus 1d6 damage, or you have to take several shots, reducing your ammo by one. I'm going to take several shots. Higher, higher, higher. Okay, I, I should probably explain how ammunition works in Dungeon World. Yeah, okay. Yeah, ammunition is sort of abstracted in Dungeon World, so like it's generally considered that if you have, if you, that if you have ammo, you, you always have ammo to make a shot. It's like, if you do something that requires you to spend lots of shots, like like you're doing here, that reduces your ammo count by one. So you, don't, all right, you don't generally Thank reduce you. ammo just for like standard shots. It's only when you do things that require lots of lots of ammunition that you reduce your ammo well, count. It was a, good, it was a good thing I bought my bundle of arrows. Yeah, so you now have five yeah, ammo yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. So roll your damage, and uh, you're going for the middle one. Yes, I am. Going for straight for the head. So that will be a D8 plus 3 from the pigeon. That's 6 points of damage, not a lot. We'll say he's kind of like got partial cover from like the uh, building, so we'll give him a bit of armor. So, yeah, like you see this guy, he's sort of like peeking around like the sort of like, like a doorway of one of these like tool sheds. Suku's a lot like swoops in, like you hear like curse, like sort of, sort of bats and this sort of comes, <laughs> sort of comes out of cover and you get a, and you get a shot off at, at at him as you uh, you hear like a you hear like a you hear like a curse and like gasp as it as the, as the shot hits home, but they are still uh, but they are, but they are they are not dead. That's right, baby girl. Go for the eyes. Get okay, his eyes. So smash his eyes out. Morthus, you were like dodging and weaving as you like were charging towards this one guy. Yeah. Okay, that sounds like you are attempting to uh, defy danger with dexterity. So, could you give me a dex roll, please? It's got minus one. Uh, is that your roll there as a five? Where is so, mark XP, and I mean you're fairly close range, and you're running and running basically across flat open ground. So this is like just like shooting fish in a barrel for them at this point. So uh, we'll say that the one uh, charge shot at is distracted. So. No, but we'll just say the one just like that you're running towards takes a shot at you. So take seven points of damage. Oh no! And that will also you can if you want trigger your fighting fire with fire. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely do that. Okay. So roll a d4. Uh, only 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 one d4. So. Uh, oh sorry. We'll, we'll sure. take we'll take the we'll, we'll take the we'll take the first first result of that. Yeah, so. 
you can either add that many uses to your burning brand or reduce reduce the damage by that amount. I'm going to reduce the damage. Okay, so you you only take six damage. Is there like another another like arrow just like sticks into your like like the guy behind the pile of tools like uh, pops out and it's like six another arrow straight into your chest. But now you do manage to close with that guy, so you can make an attack against them if you wish. I do indeed. Okay, I'm good. that would be a hack and slash roll with your int, I believe. Intelligence. Yeah, because of he's using his burning brand, he can mm. use his intelligence. So that's nine plus. What's your int modifier? I assume it's it's at least plus one. Two plus two. Okay, so yeah, you make that. So roll your damage. My damage is sorry again. Your damage is a d8, and you do one point of damage. <laughs> Where? <laughs> I'm a bit tired. Mm. I just spit in his face. That. <laughs> you're, you're you're like sta- staggered by this uh, by this like second arrow that hits you. So like, as you're like slashing towards them, like the pain like causes your like flaming weapon to like momentarily flicker out and like uh, doesn't uh, cause any damage. So, uh, Bobrick, you have been invisible while like you know yeah. arrow, arrows just like flying back and forth around you. Like Morthus has just like r- run off. Well, what so, are you doing? Well, while all this has ha- been happening, I've been, I've been like, or, and I've been trying to make my way over as far as I can get to the one by here, silently and invisibly. I don't know how far I get, but that's what I'm trying to do. I mean, we've had a few things happen. Yeah, you can get, o- you can probably get over to that. Uh, you, you can get over to that guy. Uh. And then what I'd like to do is just try and restrain him. I'd like to hop over a fence and just hold on to him. Hold him close, hold him tight, like a lover. Okay. I mean, with, like, the arrows and the fighting going on, it's like... I guess so you don't need to worry about being about being quiet. So, yeah, you managed to hop over the fence and... I guess give me a... Give me a strength roll. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Nine. Uh, what's your strength? Uh, that is with your modifier. Yep. So a nine. So it's like you sort of leap over the fence, uh, like uh, like this person is like you're the first person that's like uh, really got like a uh, good look at these people. They are sort of uh, dressed in like dark sort of traveling clothes, covering themselves with, like a hooded like black cloak with like some kind of uh, insignia like. Uh, Stitch into the cloak. You're a bit busy to really see to study in detail at the moment, but uh, as you sort of jump over, this person does like hear you coming and like drops her bow and like reaches for a knife on her belt. So I'll, 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 I'll I still want to you. try you and could, restrain her. You could you could try and grab her, but you're gonna you're gonna take a take a hit doing it. I've been stabbed many times. Okay, you still you want to do, do it, it again? So... I want to do it. Come here, you. <laughs> Come here. You only take one point of damage, so I presume that just like skates off your armor. Yep, I got I got armor. So, uh, oh, you cheeky moo! And I grab her. Okay, so you've now grabbed hold of one of these, uh, uh, of, of one of these uh, cloaked figures. So, Correct. Chad, you've uh, successfully landed a hit on uh, one of these people. Uh, both of us is just like charged across in front of you and is. Uh, Hacking at uh, one of these people with a flaming weapon, and you don't really know where Bodrick is because he, he was invisible. No worries. I'm do? just gonna, f- I'm gonna finish that guy shot off. Okay. Long for an eye, I see. Make, make her never, make her never volley then. No problem. Here it is. That's a six. Okay, that's review. So. Whoopsie doodles. So Mark XP. Why you? Um, Got a bit of the sh- key of the shaky hand. Yeah, so like this time, like the uh, like, the, the figures like they vanish to recover, and like they like duck behind like the door of like the shed or whatever hiding in, and like your arrow just like thunks into the side of the side of the shed and does. Get out! Get out from there, you coward, and face my arrows like a man. And then like, they pop, they like pop out and loosen and loosen arrow back at you. Uh oh. And you take six points of damage. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage, no problem. And you can redu- do that, your armor does reduce that by whatever your armor is, one, I think. Yeah. So five points of damage. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm at 15. No problem. Okay, so Morthus, your first attack, 
your first attack has failed. There's like this one like sort of figure is like sort of like your sort of attack like scattered this like pile of tools so it's a cloak figure that's like right in front of you. There's like arrows whizzing back back and forth across this uh, across this like courtyard. What do you do? I look him dead in the eye and say You're a pussy <laughs> Sick bird. Okay. Sick bird. So, uh, when you insult an NPC, roll plus car. On a ten plus, you leave them no room to react. They bear your insult and the scorn of all you hear it. On a seventy nine, you cross a the line. They'll have the revenge. On a miss, you've gone so too far, and they blow up here now. I love it. It doesn't even do that. Okay, so make a. <laughs> Charisma roll, I guess. I'm not sure what you're trying to accomplish here. You pussy. <laughs> so, so, what did it actually do? <laughs> it failed. Oh. Mark XP. Yeah, Mark XP. And I, I would like to put put death grip on the lady's face and cast charm person. <laughs> <laughs> So what do so I have to first, do? First of all, like the the like figure that like mother just insulted, she's like uh, he's like less talking, more fighting lizard, and she like pulls a knife from her belt and just like stab, stab, stabs you in the gut. <laughs> stab, stab, stab. Stab, stab, stab. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Guy, uh, can I do uh, <laughs> conversation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> guy stands in the field. I mean, you can make. <laughs> Take four point. Take four points of damage. Yeah. And you want to just like retaliate straight away with another, another attack. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I've. Have I still got my flames? Yeah, you. You've still got two Please. uses left. You've still got two loot. Two uses left of your flames. Cool. I wanna. I wanna grab this person on the face with my flaming hands, and then chomp down on her face. Okay, that's going to be a hack and slash roll. Yeah. Bam. <laughs> You're a pussy. Pussy. Eight, uh, ten. Okay, yes, you make that. So, deal your damage. You deal four damage to this person. Nice. You go, girl. I'm gonna, I'm trying to tear it. I'm, I'm gonna fucking gobble you up. I'll eat you all and I'll burn your two bones and snort your ash. No, <laughs> you're <laughs> just do a line of ash. Okay, so uh, yeah, you like grab the person, you just like press like, this like a burning hand like right to their face, and they just like scream, and you like it's, like the smell of like burning flesh like fill, fills your nostrils. And, like, yeah, you like, like uh, they like sort of stagger back, uh, like you know, like they're like half their flesh is the like, half their face is like like bright red and like bur all burnt up and like. So, Chad, you... Uh, no, no, wait. Uh, Bob, Rick, Bob, Rick, you were going to try to cast, cast Charm Person, I, weren't you? So, I want to Charm Person. I've got a roll 2d6. You're now at minus, minus two, two to cast two. spells. I'm going to Charm the Pants off of you, lady. <laughs> Never mind, Mark XP. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. So, what happens on a fail? So, yes, what does happen on a fail? We'll uh, come back to what happens to you. So, Chad, you just, like... Uh, Got an arrow, right? You just, like, hear this, like, blood-curdling scream echo across the, uh... Across, like, this courtyard as, like, Mordus presses a flaming hand to the face of this, uh, one person. Ooh, sizzle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what do you do? I'm gonna do that first. And I'm gonna look at my, um, new wooden limb. That's just protruding with blood. <laughs> yes. Just be like, why are you on it? And I want to get closer to get better shots at the one in the middle. Uh, I mean, they're basically stood in the doorway of like a shed, so oh, you okay, could so run up to them and off. engage them in melee if you wanted, but you, you're not nah. going to have any... Uh... No, I'm going to take a shot. Okay. Two, I think it's 2d6 plus 2. That's and a 10. That's, that's a hit. Boom. Boom. Okay, so, roll your damage. Uh, do I still get the damage from the from um, Kuzal? Um, yes, because uh, uh, Kuzal, Lady Kuzalot, uh, is uh, is still flapping around them. Okay, so that's a one d eight plus three. So, mm -hmm. come on. Oh. <laughs> come on. 
Oh, shot him right in the toe. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like they're, they're sort of mostly hidden behind the rubber. Like, like you like you see like their foot is sticking out. So like you, st- you like nail like a, their foot to the floor, and it's like well they're like distracted. Like Suku a lot, just like swoops down, and just starts like pecking and clawing at their eyes until they eventually, uh, <laughs> until they eventually go down. God. They are they, they they are dead. Yeah, I don't care. Right. Yeah. Stop that, Lord, please. Okay, so, Bobrick, you hear the uh, like the screams of like of the one as like Mortis like burns their face, and then the other one as uh, as like if they get the uh, like, the cries, they like, no, please, ah, so you get like the eyes pecked out by this feral <laughs> pigeon. And I'm just holding on to this other one, like, come on now, be charmed, please. Mm, yeah, like the. Uh, like you try to like, uh, ch- like you ch- you channel your energy like into the spell, trying to like affect them, but uh, like, it, like the energy goes, but nothing seems to happen, and like your arms go limp, and like this uh, person is oh, able no. to uh, is, is is like able to just like break out of your grasp. Oh my, my goodness, mm-hmm. that's so rude! Come here, you. And uh, so <clears> they like. Uh, have you heard this reason that they assume the dying screams of their companions? They just like uh, turn, turn, and start and start running away. And I just hold up, I hold up Death Grim and go, "That's right, you better run, you naughty girl." And I, I, I start going back over to the one that more thought is. Okay. Fighting. Yeah. So, well, you just like. Uh, you just gave this like uh, person like uh, life changing scars, and they're sort of like half collapsed on the ground, like you know, sort of still sort of like vaguely like, holding a knife towards you, but also kind of half carrying away from you at the same time. It's like I look at her and go, "If you want more scars like that, try and run away. Stay here. Okay. Have questions. Okay, you uh." That definitely sounds like you have uh, leverage on them. That sounds like an attempt to parley. So, uh, mm-hmm. roll plus car. So five. So five. Uh, yeah. So you fail, and so. Uh, nice. She's uh, she she's not she's not she's not buying it. She he she, she I think we decided the one that the one that Matt was chasing was female. Was and I think the other two we decided were male. No, I decided were male. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think uh, the one that Matt tried to grab was female, but failed. So. Uh, he she like uh, shouldn't grab women without their permission. He's just like, "You'll never take me alive, you scaly monster!" and lunges at you with their with their knife and take two points of damage. Okay, and then I put my hand on his face again. Okay, that's another minute. <laughs> he's got completely well, face. And I, I uh, while I do this, I'm saying to him, "I will burn your flesh until you are." If you allow us to answer your questions, no, uh, ask questions. I can't talk to flames. So, are you making an attack <laughs> again? Flames. Yeah. Okay, and that's that's going to be a mark XP. So, see, so like they, he I, I actually like dodges back out of like your uh, out, out of your way, and uh, they start like and they like they dodge back out of your way and just start running like across the. Uh, the front of these buildings, like towards the gap of the fence, like next to Bobrick, like the as they of... come, I just want to go <laughs> with death grip. Okay. Now, if they don't get close enough to me that I can do it with hand to hand combat, death grip is versatile and he has reach, so like like a ghost fist just comes out from nowhere, just pops him in the face. Yeah, oh, you so... say, stop. <laughs> That's all I say. Shall I roll? Yeah, okay. Are you trying to uh, incapacitate them or just, or just kill them? I want to punch him in the toe. Eight. Eight. Okay, so... I think I'm going to have to change rooms a sec, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be back in a second. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this uh, person to, like, run at you to, like... Uh, so like sort of trying to like slash at you with their knife as they run past. Oh no, that's rude. And they take five points. You take five points of damage. Okay, so I take two. So you take. They sort of eventually get scratched, but then you just like a. Uh, then you follow up with your uh, demonic fist. Roll your damage. 
Okay, that's a D10. Yes. Okay, well, I dealt four damage. Death Grip has the forceful and messy properties. So. Okay. Yes, that's four damage. That's enough. So you're, uh, you basically just like, uh, go for just like a palm strike against like, the chest of this person they run past that like, uh, death grips like fingers just basically just like just go straight through through their chest essentially just like stick out the like stick out their back oh my goodness yes. i'm so sorry oh no i didn't mean to oh death grip you naughty boy so you have a very dead uh cl cloaked uh, figure sort of on the end of your demon arm now don't you lie you half limp prick i just shake it off like oh, oh gross yeah. oh no Mr. Morfath, I'm sorry. I let the other one get away as well. Mm -hmm. I really thought we were going to have this one. Zero. I'm going to probably um. die soon. I've lost a lot of blood. <laughs> oh, Mr. Morfath, you're being very dramatic. I think you're fine. I'm soon going to be six feet under with my grandfather. And my grandmother and my godfather. And the cobbler. <laughs> and the cobbler. Where is the ponce? You mean sweet Mr. Mr. Chad and his his, his gender oh, neutral pigeon? This is the birdie. I My think he's changing. Brother. I think he's changing rooms at the moment, sir. He's just over there. Well, he's just standing there doing nothing. Yeah, but he's at the tea pose. That means he's busy, sir. I'm just gonna stop recording until Owen gets back. <laughs> Okay, so uh, oh, he's gone. We had no, we had no one for a minute there. Hello, oh. Mr. Chad. Oh, you've been banging, Mr. Chad. Hello. Hello, is it me? Hello, oh, okay. I can see it in your eyes. No, fuck off. I can see it in I your smile. I can't any of you. So hello from the other side. I must have called a thousand times to tell you yeah, I'm sorry for everything that I've done. When I called, you never seemed to be home. I can hear you. I'm back. Hey. Hey. Hello from the other side. Hey, I'm back. What's going on? We We've been singing. Okay. Uh, we saying we things to each other. Yeah, me and Morthoff have been uh, finding out the deep roots behind his, his racial prejudices. Turns okay. out, my kind killed all of his kind. So yeah, I think it's fair. I think it's valid. Anyway, so so you uh, missed the uh, Bob Rick uh, impaling the guy that was fleeing on his demonic arm. <laughs> it was an accident. <laughs> I just say no, stop. Oh, Bobrick, what are you doing? Uh, I don't, it's... Embracing his true self. Okay. It happens sometimes. Okay, so the, like, courtyard falls silent, aside from, like, the continual, like, crackling of the, um, well, more of a roar of the uh, burning barn. And it's like, uh, you uh, finally get to have a look at, like, get a good look at these... Uh, shadowy figures you've been uh, fighting uh, up until now and you see like they are uh, dressed in like sort of dark covered leathers all wearing sort of like matching hooded black cloaks which are uh, embroidered with, in, in gold thread with a uh, sigil of an open book held in two outstretched hands do do i recognize this sigil sounds like you are trying to spout law damn straight i am is that is, is that roll plus int? That is roll plus int. Nice, I'm good at this. Seven. I know something. So, yeah, you've like, uh, I mean, you, you know, you've never actually seen the symbol like the yourself. You've seen it drawn in a couple of places. It's like, uh, like sort of myths. Or sort of you thought while you thought they were myths, like you know, stories like shared by. Uh, people who walk the paths between the worlds of a uh, group that are, that call themselves the storytellers. The, 
They sound nice. I mean, you don't really know uh, much more than much more than that. They're just sort of like you know, uh, sinister-looking men in dark robes, sort of like boogeyman. Like you don't really know much more about about them. You something like you. There's sort of vaguely myths of sinister sort of men in robes, like walking like between worlds. It sounds ridiculous. I, fellers, I think these people are from the storytellers. The storytellers? What? Those are Those are new storytellers. Storytellers. Would I know anything about this since I'm a dimensional uh, tour I mean, guide? There you are, bro. You can try and spout law as well if you want. 2d6. Straight roll. That's a oh, 10 anyway. You get a 10, so... Uh, nice. You know a little bit more about the... Uh, about the storytellers. You, uh... Know that, uh, well, for sorry, you knew that they definitely exist, and uh, the uh, the tales vary a bit. It's like, but the one thing you know for certain is that um, their like home world where they originally came from uh, was destroyed or rendered uh, uninhabitable. Uh, some of the stories, the stories vary a bit in the telling. Some of them say that like um, they like. Uh, some like grand magical ritual went wrong and that that made the world uninhabitable while uh, others say that uh, in their hubris that they uh, invoked the wrath of a vengeful god okay cool i know later like, you know the Brazilian storytellers they say that their home was destroyed whether that was a god or a ritual or a crazy cooking experiment gone wrong no one really knows <laughs> But I know the homes were destroyed. Lives are in danger, damn it. Lives oh. are in danger. But we still haven't put out the barn. Oh, yeah, that as well. We should probably do that as well. There's a raging inferno going on. <laughs> Jesus Christ, look at that thing. I'm going to try and control it again with all my might. Okay, try a... Whatever role that is for you. A... Is it a whiz roll? Seven... Seven. Seven plus uh, that, that's a nine, so that's still going to be a partial success. Partial. And the You're a partial success. I got it. I think it's going out. Man, this place is getting hotter than me and a pair of speedos. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I love the idea that one of these dimensions is just us going back to Earth and buying speedos. <laughs> Just me and Tesco with my demon hand trying to bust. <laughs> oh no, we're knocking all the fucking so metal on off. a seven to nine. The effect is short-lived, lasting only a moment. So uh, you're able to like, uh, like sort of make the flames like uh, die down momentarily, but uh, like the wood, like stuff, it's all like still very incredibly hot. So like, basically, as soon as like. <laughs> You you were like your control experience like just the latent heat is enough to make it all like uh, burst Where's back into flames again. Ari, yeah. Where's Ari? What took us here? Well, mm -hmm. I suppose there's nothing going to be done. Water. Baby's gonna burn. Uh, I think we need to get some water. Is there a well nearby? Um, no. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> no. I mean, I mean, there's only three of you here. The three of you with buckets of water are not going to be able to put out this fire. I don't think that's gonna cut. You roll a ten, my friend. I don't think that's gonna cut the cheese. I think we better just walk away. Let's slowly walk away. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Right, as you're uh, looking around this place, like uh, <laughs> baby's gonna burn. This, this like sort of like mysterious mound, like over here, next, under where Morthus is. Like now that you've got like time to look around, like you realize this is a body. This, oh. They're dressed in a commoner's clothes. You uh, assume it was the like it was like the farmer or whoever what lived there. Like um, they're like lying on their front with a uh, familiar-looking black fletched arrow sticking out of their sticking out of their back. Uh, Don't worry, I know mouth to mouth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh! I just noticed the fletched arrow sticking out of their back. <laughs> 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 Looks like there's nothing that can be done. Oh dear. Well then. Looks like this is a predicament. I'm going to f pick him up, flip him over, and 
see if there's anything on his person what will tell us why the storytellers ain't telling nice stories. I'm rolling a uh, discover that, that... hook check. Hey, what? Discover plot hook. I don't check. think that's that's a move. Oh. <laughs> well, we three confused chap run next to a burning barn with a body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a day this is turning into, eh? Yeah. At this point, like, uh, Aaron here, like, fly over again, and, like, she's, ca- she's like, clutching, like, big, like, uh, leather bag in, like, her rear paws, and, like, she, like, pulls, like, a string, and, like, the bottom of the bag opens, and she's she's basically become a, she's basically got, like, one of those big, like, like aerial firefighting bag things that, uh, like, we use oh, on yeah. helicopters, and she just, like, yeah. dro- drops, like, this, like, a huge amount of water onto oh, this, uh, onto oh, the brewing right. burn. Her wings don't flap, her wings will, like, spin. <laughs> well, that's convenient. Yeah, so there's like a big like cloud of steam like rises up from like from like, the barn and then like a uh, Ari like circles around and like lands uh, and as soon as she lo- she like uh, she like so it's, like I I I smell blood. Uh, you you three okay? Jeez Louise, you got here in the nick of time. This thing was almost about to go up. I am bleeding profusely from every orifice. He's bleeding profusely from every orifice. Oh yeah. I've got one arrow, oh, I'm alright. How are you? I'm fine. What what ha- what happened here? Some fellows started to chuck some arrows at us, so we chucked some back. And then he tried to grab the lady, but she ran away. But then he burned his face off, and then killed him with the face. And then my beard killed that one over there, and then we found his body. In other words, shit got real. I tried putting out the fire, but I'm so wounded that it's useless. Yeah, we we, we better get back and tell the I tell the rest of the village about this. So your friend needs uh, medical attention. Yeah. Are. Will be I'll wake away. Yeah, I'm gonna climb onto the to the front. Uh, my cloak's bellowing in everyone's faces when we go. What a man! Congratulations on making it through the first part of this debacle. Part two is coming shortly. In the meantime, why not check out our main Dungeons and Dragons series, where we are playing through Waterdeep Dragon Heist. I promise you it goes better than this mess.